Laguna Beach closed a home part of Surf Beach in Lompoc. Closes annually during some of the warmest times of the year to promote nesting seasons for a threatened species. KSBR reporter Asia Gore joins us from the newsroom with more on a push to keep the beach open this year. Asia. Well, that's right. The snowy plover nesting season prompts a partial closure of Surf Beach from March through September. Some Lompoc City officials, though, arguing that's the perfect time for people to visit the beach. And they say by the partial closure, they lose out on their economy. Generations have been growing up without having summer access to this beach. Summer vacation synonymous with the beach, but during the warmest months of the year in Santa Barbara County's northern coast, much of Surf Beach is closed. It is possible to have a negative impact on an environment simply by being in it. This California Audubon video promotes protecting snowy plover habitats. They are dependent on the beach as an ecosystem for survival. Point Blue conservation scientist Dan Robinette says that includes about 14 miles of beach at Vandenberg Air Force Base. On the central coast, we really have a place where there's very little disruption. We haven't developed a lot of this stretch of coast. During the nesting season, this portion of the beach closed to people. It's important for this beach to be open for the people. We believe that the uh, snowy plovers and the people can get along together. Lompoc City Councilman Jim Mosby agrees with City Manager Jim Throop, who is pushing the Coastal Commission to end these annual beach closures. In a recent letter to the commission, Throop says Lompoc's tourism industry suffers when tourists can't access the whole beach. For quite a few years, 100 plus years, the people have been cohabitating with the plover and they've been surviving. Surviving, but not necessarily thriving. Recent data counts 49 eggs laid at Surf Beach in 2016. Only 36 plover chicks hatched. When a human's present, the bird will get off the nest and that leaves the eggs exposed to weather. Supporters of keeping the beach open note data showing people destroyed zero nests in 2016, while coyotes and ravens destroyed 98 nests. Surf and wind that year claimed 35 nests on the north and south beach. Also in his letter, the city manager argues there are other beaches in Santa Barbara County that have even more plovers and they should be subject to the partial closures. You can read more about that letter and the petition to keep the beach open on our website, KSBY.com. In the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. Anyone who violates the surf beach closures could be fined $5,000. Once there are 50 violations of the closure, all of surf beach will be closed.